There are many reasons on why we do the Puko. Reaching for a North Star. Today, I will show you how I will try to propagate my succulents through pugot or stem cutting. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. Alright, so actually guys, nakastart na ko og pugot og succulents. Mga first one was na pugos ko magpugot or magcut sa stem. Kaya nagkaroon siya og stem rot. So... I had no other choice but to cut the stem para maka-recover siya o dili ma-affect ang whole stem niya. And moto, gikat na ko siya guys. And so far, so good. Um, nabuhi ba po siya? There are a few days na napugot na ko ang iyang stem. Um, buhi pa ang katong gitanom na ko na top part of the stem. Muni siya. So karon guys, morning mga succulents na atong itry og pugot. There are many reasons on why we do the pugot on succulents. Kay first, um, kung etoliated na unya, di ka ganan si ang growth and then ganan ni mo siya ipag-grow in a certain way. Um, second one, if you want to propagate it or kung gusto ni mo siya padaghan nun, you want more succulents, then you can do it. And then, if na siya sakit or na siya disease or na siya fungus, na siya stem rot, or whatsoever na kailangan ni mo siya i-cut. So, moto ang three reasons that I know why we do pugot. Ayan, so now what we have is a pair of scissors. So, ako ni siyang yugasan, guys. Um, basta, ang tip nila sa pagpugot or pagpropagate through stem cuttings for succulents is make sure that you sanitize your tool. Pwedeng pair of scissors, pwedeng cutter, some even use knife, some use thread. But my choice of weapon will be a pair of scissors. Kabalo ko dilit ni siya pang gardening, pang tahi ni siya. But this is what we're gonna use right now. Okay? So right now, let's try to cut this one. Now you need to um, leave some leaves. Magbilin kag mga leaf, mga 2 to 3 leaves para makapadagya po siya o grow ang plant. Guys, sure na? Guys, basically, gunting lang na ko siya. Dara na. And syempre, dilip man ni Muni makuan kay malaya ramang gya po ning sa ubos. So, tanggalo na to yung leaves. Then, ayo ilabay ang leaves kay pwede pa man na siya matubo. Pwede pa man ka mag-leaf propagation. Pero naagya po yung mga succulents na dili ka makapadagan through leaf propagation. Not sure about this one, pero let's just try. As a newbie, we're willing to try new things here. Now, here's our first bugot. Kani, golden glow. Pero murag taas na mong gay siya, so I really want to cut. Bala na. So, tura guys. I finally cut it. This is how it looks. It's so pretty. Nindot kayo niya siya pag mainitan guys. Kaya murag na siya yellowish golden glow. That's why it's called golden glow. Then again, tanggalo na to ni mga leaves. Tapuko lang ako niya. Kaya naapay chance na matubo pa niya siya guys. So, makadaghan taong succulent if in ana. But, syempre, ang leaf propagation mas dugay siya compared to stem cuttings or pugot propagation. Alright, so second one. And this is how the bottom looks like. Nani chance, guys, na naapay mas daghan na mag-grow na pups or small, small babies. Na chance na mas daghan ang mag-grow ng mga babies kaning apart. So, really excited to see how it goes. Ito 
Nagkat na ako na part na rin ato guys. And then, amo dyan yung mga gagmay. So, might as well cut it para mas mag-grow tong gagmay. Magana na ka magsigay po. Ay, so pretty. Nakatay tulok ang buo. Cut na to ang campfire. Ang green na campfire. So, pag masan stress daw ni yung campfire guys, maging color red siya. Maging red yung mga tips. So, guot na mong kay siya. So, mo to. Ganun ko itry na i-cut siya para hindi kay siya guot. I'm gonna cut it here. Kira mong guro to guys. Let's see. Oh, iwi mo ko siya guys. Mga nang gusto na ko i-cut ba? Alright guys. So, nahuman na ta sa ato ang pag-cut sa stem and I don't know. Let's see kung unsa yung mga update nila in the next days. I hope I'll be able to document them and mag-update ko ninyo kung unsa ang mga nag-survive, unsa ang namatay, or unsa ba'y balita. Keep on watching. I just put it on the egg tray. I wait lang mo ko sa taxi naman. Kani ako ng gamit na cinnamon. Kani ako ng gamit na cinnamon, guys. So, and then, i-dip lang ni mo. Ako pa nga gamit sa rooting hormone. But, they say na pwede rapod cinnamon powder. Or pwede rapod wala if you don't want to. Or dili available. Basta make sure lang na madry ang ang yahang stem and then ma dry pud ang dry pudan ang soil cinnamon sa mga walls or sa mga nakat na part okay kani ang mga nakat pud na part gikan sa mother plant Buti nga po na itong cinnamon powder. Actually, pwede na dili nga po, pero just to be sure. So, buti nga. Hi! So, today is the next day and I just wanna show you kung unsa na ang itsura sa ako ang mga gipugot or gipropagate na succulent. So, this is how it looks now. Um, ganitong golden glow. And then, this one is Ellen. Then, Chrissy and Ryan's. And then, gani ang thoroughly sunshine. I think nag-dry up na siya gamay. Then, ganitong um, campfire na green. <laughs> really na siya sunstress. So, it's color green. And then, Ganitong mga gikat na ko na top parts. Tapos, I also kept the leaves. Okay, pwede pa na siya him on a leaf propa. So, the reason why I put them here, kay another tip would be, dili sa dapat sila mabasa right after ninyo gikat. Kay, na tendency na mag stem rot. So, today it rained. <laughs> today it rained and may na lang kaya ako na silang gisulod. So, that's it guys. Good morning guys. It's been 7 days na nag-propagate na. I'm gonna show you kung unsa na ang update. So, mauna ni siya guys. Ang ato ang golden glow. And as you can see, kanang dark na part is where we put the cinnamon. And kani siya ang top part of the succulent na atong gikat. So, it's been raining the past few days but it looks really stable. And I hope to see new growth sa ato ang gikat na part soon. Alright, and then next one is kanang mini bell. As you can see guys, dagha na kay siyag new growth and then kani sa isa ka stem there are two babies and then katong sa pika stem na anay one baby. And then mo ni siya ang iyang top part which looks really fine. 
Siguro ang isa lang sa factor na inyo ang i-consider is if mag-ulan right away pag humanin nyo gut or pugot, then that could be a problem. Kay pwede siya mag-lead to stem rot or root rot which actually happened to this one. But I used it as a bouquet for our prenup shoot so medyo na save na ko siya gamay. Then this one is katong campfire na to. Muni ang top part na na save lang na ako. And muni ang mother plant which is suffering from a disease. I'm not sure what's the kind of disease pero murag fung fungus. Um, comment down below if you have any idea what's happening. But yeah, it's really sad to see my campfire used to be so lush. Alright, and the next one would be kaning Ellen na to, guys. Um, as you can see, um, there's a sign of new growth. I'm not sure if you can really identify it, pero kanang gamay dira sa nakat na part. That's already a sign of new growth. And this is the top part of our Ellen. Um, Naka-adjust po siya well. Piskag nag-ulan, no signs of root rot. And then, Laxiflora. This one, wala na po niya napakita sa itong pugot video. But, there's really lots of new growth. It's been two weeks since nabihead na ko siya. And then, paspas yun kayo magpropagate og Laxiflora cut and tusok method lang, guys. So, yeah. That's it for our Laxiflora. And mo niya itong lakat na ko na top part. Which is, happy yun po sila. <laughs> they look really stable now. Share lang na ako guys ang ako ang proper propagation through leaf. Oh, it's so cute. It's growing. Darling sunshine ni siya guys. That's it guys. Mura to ang update nato sa ato ang propagation through pugot. And I'm really happy about the outcome. Will I do it again? Of course, I will. Addicting ni siya guys. Like, pag makita ka na nag-grow ang imuhang plants, then you would definitely do it again. And I hope that they survive in the coming days. But for now, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And see you on my next one. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.